Morning, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Estes Angling. We're back with another winter method feeder session today and we're at Harry's Fishery. It's been absolutely ages since I've fished here so I'm really excited to see whether the fishing's still as good as it was. Obviously it's still winter, it's still really cold, it's frosty this morning if you can see. Frost on the ground there but there is a reason I haven't been back here and it's purely and simply because I'm a tight ass and he put his prices up from five quid for two rods to 16 quid for two rods. So that's the reason I haven't been back, but I really wanted to give it a go. I've missed fishing here and uh, we've set up this morning and I've got a couple of subscribers pitched up next to me. They're really good followers of the channel. So shout out to them. They're on the Westies wafters, believe it or not, as well as us. I'm going to be fishing double method feeders and I'm going to be fishing out towards the middle. The fish here tend to hold up at this time of year in a deep pool in the middle of the lake. So that's what I'll be aiming for. Like I said, I'm just having a bit of a walk round. I'm uh, doing my intro just so I'm not disturbing anybody. I'm probably going to be a little bit quieter than I normally am today. And that's purely because obviously I don't want to disturb my subscribers. Absolutely beautiful morning. Look at it. It's going to be so sunny today and it was sunny yesterday and the day before so we've had a we've had a fairly mild spell over the last few days so i'm confident that we'll have a good day's fishing i'm going to be fishing like i said to your double method feeders the pellets that i'm going to be using are my own brand pellets so i'm going to have a 50 50 mix of dark and light pellets i'm probably going to go with the caramel cream dream today and the chalky orange halibut which I'll show you in a second. So we'll get some of them mixed up. I've already got my rods together. We're in a position where I literally just need to mix the pellets, put a couple of wafters on and then we're fishing. Right folks, without further ado, let's get into the video. So like my dad's just said, there's loads of fish topping today. So I'm really confident that we'll have a good day. What do you think? Yeah, I think it just might take an hour or so just to warm up a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's uh, frosty, isn't it, this morning? Yeah, it's cold. A bit bitter easterly wind, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to get some pellets mixed up, Dad, and uh, get fishing. Yeah. Get some rods out. Dad's a, Dad's a proper tight ass and he's only fishing one rod today because yep. <laughs> he's been stubborn so he's got half the chance of catching but he's only paying eight quid <laughs> rather than 16. <laughs> uh, cutting your nose off to spite your face there I think Dad. <laughs> don't care <laughs> i know that some of you guys who fish down south tell me that that's still cheap for a day ticket but it's not up here <laughs> not for us northerners <laughs> not for us tight northerners exactly right okay let's get some pellets mixed up right folks so i've put my brolly up today not because it's going to rain but to give me a little bit of privacy we're going to go with the westies wafters as i've said so we've got a fresh pack of them there and as I've said to you, we're going to be using the Caramel Cream Dream and the Chalky Orange Halibut. I have got a website if you wanted to try these. If you don't, you don't. It's no problem. Videos are free to watch. But if you do want to support the channel, uh, feel free to jump on the website and get yourself a bag. I'll put a link in the description for you. Got a lovely smell to them, these. So we've got with a 50-50 mix. And I'm gonna be using my own brand Metha feeders as well. Again, available on the uh, the website. They tend to go a little bit softer, these chalky orange halibut. So you get, a, you get a little bit of a mixing texture as well, believe it or not. So we'll let them soak for probably about a minute at this time of year and then we'll mix them up and they'll be absolutely perfect. I'll be fishing towards the middle so I am using high sided method feeders today because it's, it's quite deep in the middle. It's getting a bit uh, knackered this pellet wetter. There we go. <laughs> well, at least I've got one zip that's working. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I don't have much luck. sit there. Let's get a couple of wafters on. If you don't know how to tie up your own method feeder hook length I will put a link in the top right hand corner for you now. Very easy. No need to buy them, just tie your own up. For those of you that aren't following the channel, gear that I'm using today, I'm using my Corum Opportunist Extem rods. Uh, they're a two pound test curve. There's some good carp in here, so nice sturdy rod and my Shimano DL reels, good quality reel. If there's one thing that you can't cheap out on folks, it's reels, in my opinion. Another few seconds and they'll be fine. Let them drain off. Now, if you've got a ground bait, what you can do is you can mix this with all the attractants in it with your ground bait, but I don't, so I'm going to bother with that today. It's so lucky that this wetter has two zips. <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to mix them. And that'll do us for today's session, I think. Don't know how often I'll be casting out, depends how full on the fishing is. Right. Just why my pellets are uh, absorbing some water, I'm just going to use my dad's and get my rods out. He's using my caramel cream. Just those. Right, this needs to go out towards the middle. That'll do me. And I'll do the other one a touch further out. I think my dad's mixed his pellets to touch on the dry side here. They're still holding together, but I like them a little bit wetter than this because you can you can really mould them into the feeder. And if you're fishing in quite a deep spot, you want the pellets to stay on all the way to the bottom and then break up. You don't want them coming off as soon as they hit the water. And if it's a long cast, chances are that's going to happen. Just putting some of my super sherbet glaze on there. Nice easy chuck that with them 35 gram feeders. <laughs> That's freezing today. He's not using his Wessie's angling towel again folks, will you tell him? Oh dear. Honestly. <laughs> he keeps it on his pike fishing bag. <laughs> I've got one on both. <laughs> if it's a prevailing wind for us, that's a westerly. Yeah. So I wouldn't hesitate to fish into wind because that's a warm, yeah. moist wind. We're in, folks, already. It's quick. Feels like a half decent fish actually. It's like an easy get get it away from that centre basin. Epic. Straight away. Mostly carp in here. There's hardly any other species. Save the blank. Digging still. 
small one. I know he's put a lot of stockies in. There we go, yeah, it's just a little, little common. Nice fish. Definitely one of them stockies. And the pellets haven't even come out of the feeder yet. <laughs> and this greedy little thing's had it away. Lost me wafter though. <laughs> nice fish. First little one going back, folks. Here's to a few more. <laughs> Yours was a bit bigger though. <laughs> was it on the Westies wafter? Oh. <laughs> oh! I don't think they're too fussy in here, are they? No, like the chocolate orange here. Well, I'm using chocolate orange pellets, so. <laughs> Challenge is on, folks. I've got to, I've got to uphold my YouTube reputation. My influencer reputation, <laughs> it's on the line, it's on the line. <laughs> you see mine are a little bit softer, they mould into the feeder better. They kind of deform slightly, but what will happen is when the water gets in between all them pellets, they will break up into individuals again. Need a bit of glaze on that. Where's me? Where's my glaze? This is what fishing's all about at this time of year, folks. Getting out, having a bit of a laugh, having fun, and hopefully catching some fish. Now, I did have a little bit of a run on my right hand rod, so I'm going to recast it. They're obviously on the feed, so we need to be recasting fairly often. I'll leave it a little bit, um, maybe another two or three minutes, but that will have moved and it'll be away from the pellets. So let's just, let's just do it properly and recast it. Let's not be lazy. I don't use a mold with these feeders, there's no point, literally. Just thumb them in. Don't need a mold because they're high sided and they create a little bit of a dinner plate it's thick stuff this gear so uh, helps if you open the top though Wester you know what I mean there we go what's the one Matt? <laughs> on the, on the Westies Wafters <laughs> there you go folks should be able to see the rods there as well got absolutely loads of suggestions for the fishery reviews this year definitely got enough suggestions to keep us going well into summer and it's still local fisheries we're not having to go further afield yet I mean that is a plan for me to do later on in the year try some fisheries you know maybe towards Yorkshire way or anything like that so if you're you're from that direction you know Yorkshire Huddersfield the, the surrounding areas or even you know coming up to sort of Birmingham that's probably the, the furthest that I'm gonna go and do fishery reviews at the moment so if you're you're from those areas and you know some good fisheries that's gonna go off soon if you know some good fisheries please just drop a comment in the comment section and let me know I will be giving away a tub of Westies wafters in this video so all you need to do to be in with a chance of winning is make sure you subscribe to the channel, share the video with an angling friend and follow me on the Westies Angling Instagram or Facebook page. So all you need to do, subscribe to the channel, follow me on the Westies Angling Instagram or Facebook page and make sure that you share the video with an angling friend. That's all. Ooh. 
That was a run. Oh, it's come off. <laughs> yeah, it would have been one of them small ones. That was a great run. Absolutely shot off. It was halfway down the lake. Seemed to be getting a better stamp of fish on the next peg along. And I think that's because that's the, the aerator peg. And I know that the bigger fish do hold up around that aerator from experience. I told my dad to go on that peg th this morning and he uh, and he didn't. <laughs> He's probably kicking himself now. That one was actually a touch closer in I think. In like an absolute bullet. Probably all my pellets have come off. Absolutely no feathering at all. So west it. Right, let's recast this one as well. Yeah, don't be. Don't ever be scared of overfeeding in winter if they're uh, clearly on the feed like they are. You want to get as much bait in as possible, really. I mean, I'm not saying fill it in, but definitely don't be shy with it. I always leave the waft to showing because what happens is the pellets bubble out around the feeder. And if the waft is the first thing that they see, that's what they'll take. I tend to suck it up in a mouthful. Might be a reasonably short video this because I'm only doing a morning session. So we're probably going to get packed up around... I don't know, about one o'clock-ish, something like that. That's why we get here at first light, so we have a, a good amount of time to get some fish on the bank. But we've saved the blank already, which is the main thing when you're doing a winter session. <laughs> the first one's the hardest. <laughs> Probably recast, seeing as we got that fish pretty quick and obviously uh, my subscribers on the next peg, they've had a couple of fish. I'll probably recast a little bit more often. I'll probably recast every 20 minutes or so now. Rather than the 40, 45 that I'd normally leave it in winter. And the pellets have gone perfect. So what, you, what you're looking for is you want the pellets to just, just be slightly frayed on the edges. Just slightly breaking down. And then when you squeeze them, they all, they all mold together like that. Can you see that? And then, if you wanted to, you could break them up back into the individual pellets. You don't want them to lose the shape. If they lose the shape, then you've over-wetted them. But these are absolutely perfect. And they go perfect every time, my pellets. Ideal for the method feeder. And they smell really strong as well. So I've got three flavors, two of which I've got with me today. Uh, the other flavour is Super Sherbet, which I've not brought with me today. And I know that the people that have supported the channel and bought some have had good success on them. And I'm sure that people will tell you that in the comments. This help my stick? No, but just switch that one off. What? Where is your camera? There's another screaming Ron. Yeah. <coughs> there are better fish there. No, I don't think so. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell, yeah. It's doing a lot of little bumping edge shakes. Um, which tells me that. It's probably, look at that, can you see the rod tip going? Yeah. The rod tip there, don't I? Yeah, you can see it, yeah, it's banging. Yeah, it's like, look at that. You see that, little, little banks? Yeah. Which tells me that it's a smaller one. One of these little stockies. Mm. Took a little bit of line at the beginning. A little stocky. 
mirror. I'll wake it up, I'll see it. Cheers, Dad. See, these are the ones that he's put in. Beautiful fish. Really nice strain. It's got a few carp lice, this one, but nice one. There's the Westy's Wafter. Come out in the net. And nailed just in the corner of the mouth. Save that Wafter. Put that one back on. No point wasting. Epic. Subscribers in again, look. So they're obviously moving round. They're moving round in shoals, aren't they? Because everybody gets bites in quick succession. Right, let's load this method feeder up. I am going to put a new waft on because that one's got dirty. They've been absolutely screaming bites today. Like, like I said, that just tells me that, um, that the fish are waking up. I don't normally get proper carp runs like that in winter. And I've got my, I've got my bait runner set fairly tight, like I always do, and like I always recommend. So they're having to work to pull the line off. They just seem to be a better stamp in that peg for some reason. Yeah, really I, I seem to be getting the stockies and... Um, they hold up tightly, you know what I mean? Yeah, what, the bigger fish? Yeah. In that particular peg. Interesting though, isn't it? Come on, Dad. Shaping wooden. Yeah, you're right. You need to get yourself fish on the bank. Hey, oh, he's in again, look. He's all just cast it out. Now, I can't really complain because they are using the Westies wafters, so <laughs> I can't I can't moan about it <laughs> because But yeah they're having an epic session. It's a really good peg that one, it is a good peg. I'm not blaming I'm not blaming my peg or anything. Uh, probably just my lack of fishing skill, but it's um as it put he's pulled out. I mean some of these smaller carp in here, they speed round so much that you do end up you do end up losing a couple. The yeah, they're yeah. absolutely mental. Even at this time of year, they go crazy. You know, head shake. I, I could feel that one head bumping all the time as I was bringing it in. Um, yeah, they go crazy, don't they? Um, I think he's just fishing a, a, a small, small bomb and wafter. So. Um, yeah, and the, like I said, they've had a they've had a couple of nice fish there. Definitely near, doubles or near doubles anyway. Seven, you know, seven or eight pound mark definitely. <laughs> Get it looking wrapped up with gloves on and everything. I'm freezing. Well, you're getting out, aren't you? Don't you need to keep yourself warm. Yeah. West West is outside of his head there. <laughs> Put it on right. Has <laughs> it spun right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? He can't even dress himself. Look. <laughs> It's getting busy today. Loads of people here. Just tried a bit further out. Put my right hand rod further out as well. I don't think there's anything down the margins. Definitely don't be scared about moving your rods around in winter, folks. Try different areas. Um, you've got to go to the fish at this time of year, especially after frost, like last night. Finally, he's in. Isn't it? It's coming this way. Nice, fully scaled. Went mental, isn't it? Mm. Might have to put my brolly down. It's getting a bit windy. That'll fly off. Yeah. 
Africa. Awesome. Put me brolly down. Look at this, folks. Absolutely jam packed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three people unloading over there. <laughs> it's mental. Winter session, eh? As soon as you get a bit of sun out. <laughs> Maybe we should try a uh, big wafter or something. So bright and you know a little bit bigger. Yeah. It was a nice fish you just had though. Yeah, it Serves was. the blank. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, a long time coming that bad. Yeah, it, it was, yeah. Well I've had a couple of bleeps in that on that, you know, I just left. Yeah you have, yeah, yeah. Maybe they're not, you know, full on feeding or anything to it. Just moving past and just finally decided to to take it. Oh, God, it's it. packed. No, I've it's really it, packed. It. Well, I've just been talking to my subscriber there, and um, they said they've never seen it this busy. <laughs> as soon as you get a little bit of sun out, everybody goes fishing, don't they? Well, yeah. Not everybody <laughs> goes fishing in the rain like us, do they? <laughs> <laughs> it's not very warm, though. Is no, it, it is it's freezing. Some, that's some there, but it's, not, it's not as warm as the other day. Well, I honestly can't believe how tough it's been today. I mean, there's a lot of angling pressure on the lake. Like I said, there's 14 other anglers on here today, which is absolutely mental uh, for this time of year. But we're probably going to give it another half an hour and see whether we can get one more fish on the bank. But I just want to say, folks, if we don't, thanks very much for watching this short winter session. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to drop a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to check out my website at www.westisangling.co.uk if you want to support the channel. Thanks once again, folks. I'll see you next time. Well, I knew that one was going to go off. Could be a good fish to end them. That was a bit further out, that one, folks. Like, r literally in the middle. I think I'm out of the danger zone. Taking it a bit easier now. I'm not gonna put this one on the Oh, it's unhooked itself. Happy days. There we go. Like I said, good one to end on that.